This keeps me going. On those days when I feel like giving up. Fire. Mark 10, 46, Luke 8 and 43, which was read this morning, Luke 7 and 12, Luke 8 and 30. Just want to preach just for a little while on the subject, the diary of a tax collector. The diary of a tax collector. The people in Judea hated two class of people. They hated the Romans because they had taken their land. They hated tax collectors because they took their money. Zacchaeus, as the scripture says, was a, was a chief tax collector. And, and Luke also puts in there that he was wealthy. Right, yeah, yeah. So that meant to me that he was stealing more than he should have been yeah, yeah, stealing. Yeah, yeah. Amen. I'm, I'm, you know, I'm a 
tax collector and I got to have my money. Yeah. Man said, just give me a little more time, Zach. Zacchaeus said, okay. But it, when I come back here in 30 days, you better have my money. Walk down the steps and walk down the yard and walk out and hit it off to another house. Got to the other house and it was in worse shape than the first house. Zacchaeus looked at the house and this house had, had tape all the way around them. Wow. Wow. And, and on the gate it said, keep out. <laughs> Zacchaeus gave the gate a little bit more attention. It said, it had a skull and crossbones on the gate. <laughs> Zacchaeus said, I'm not going to pay any attention to that. I'm going up there and I'm going to get my money. <laughs> he goes up a pair of rickety steps and knocks on the door. Ah, right. And a woman comes to the door. Come on, he steps back yeah, yeah. after giving her due examination. Yeah. All right. He notices that her hair had not been combed in months. Right. He notices that her nails are broke. All right. He notices that the dress she has on is yellow and stained yeah. with blood. Yeah. And, 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 and he looks at her and she doesn't have any shoes on and she says, Zacchaeus, I, I know you came for your mother, but I haven't been able to stand on my usual corner. I haven't been able to stand on my usual corner this week, so, so I don't have your money. And Zacchaeus stepped back a little bit further and said, all right, but I'm going to tell you, uh, I got another brother up the street, so I'm going to come back here. And you better have my money in 30 days. I don't care about anything else. You better get out and work somewhere. For my money. Zacchaeus goes back down the rickety steps. Slams the gate. Walks down the street a little bit away. Gets to the third house. This house doesn't look too bad. But as he goes up the steps, he, he sees a spray uh -huh. on the door. Uh -huh. Some of y'all don't know what a spray is. Spray, they put a spray on the door when somebody dies. That's what we used to do back east. They used to put a beautiful spray on the door. And to let everybody know that somebody has died in the house. Zacchaeus knocks on the door. And a woman comes to the door. Crying her eyes out. Says to Zacchaeus, I know why you're here. Uh -huh. I, I know why you've come. Yeah. But I, I just want to tell you, Zacchaeus, that, uh -huh. that I don't have your money. All right. All right. My son was in a serious accident. Uh -huh. And he died. Yeah. Uh -huh. And I had to take all of my money yeah. that I had for the taxes to pay for my son's funeral. Come on, man. I don't have your money, Zacchaeus. Uh -huh. That kid started scratching his head and he said, What's going on in this neighborhood? <laughs> said, I got two others, so I might as well add you to the list. I'm going to give you 30 days. You better have my money. Amen. So Zacchaeus goes on a little bit further. He gets to the van in the road. And he says, to himself as the sun was set. Yeah, yeah. I gotta walk past the bridge though. All right. Walks very slowly. Yeah. And in the midst of the sunset, Come on. Yeah, yeah. he finds a woman uh -huh. standing in the middle of the road. Uh -huh. And she is crying her eyes out. Yeah. And she's pointing over yeah. in the bridge though. Uh -huh. Zacchaeus looks over and he hears crying and wailing in the graveyard. Yeah, yeah. And he notices that there's somebody flashing and running between the graveyard. Uh -huh. And he says, oh no, I ain't going down there. Uh -huh. And he said, my name from a distance yeah, yeah. is Zacchaeus. Yeah, yeah. And I'm coming back uh -huh. in 30 days. that have 
have to be paid. Yeah. We all got bills. Amen? Amen. And you know that 30 days comes real quick.
walked up yeah. uh, to the door and knocked on that. Yeah. And a woman came to the door. Uh -huh. Her hair looked good. Uh -huh. She had an evening gown on. Her nails had to be fixed. Shoes on her feet. There was a, a, a smell of perfume in her. for the woman that was here, that's me. That is, you should have been there. I, I, I went up on the road because I had been, been bleeding for, for 12 years. And, and nobody could do anything for me. They, they put me out, they shunned me, they, they forgot about me. But I heard that a man named Jesus was coming back. So I didn't want them to touch me. And I didn't want to touch him. So I got down on my knee. And I thought that even if I could just touch, Oh, 
Jesus touched me. So the funeral home returned the money. So we got your tax. Get out. I won't see you anymore. That kid just said, Lord, what the this? What is going on? Up in here, something wrong. Everybody give me all this money. Walked out the door, pondering, what is going on? Thought about it. As he started down the road, reached the van, looked over in the graveyard. Didn't hear anything. Looked down the road. Didn't see a woman in the street. Saw the house. Knocked on the door. Brothers came to the door. 6 4 2 4. <laughs> the taxes I, uh -huh. I was here last time, but there was some disorder going on. People uh -huh. running to the graveyard. I was standing in the street crying. Uh -huh. He said, that man that was running through the graveyard yeah. was me. Uh -huh. But now, uh -huh. I'm here. Uh -huh. You got a minute? Uh -huh. Let me tell you my story. The man said, I was running through the graveyard one day, uh -huh. and and Jesus and his disciples was were there, yeah. and 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 I ran and I was running and, and I was foaming at the mouth, uh -huh. and but I, I heard that, that that this man Jesus saved for, yeah. and for some reason I I ran and I fell into his arms, uh -huh. and he put me down, yeah. and he said, "Who are you?" Uh -huh. and the, the demons inside yeah. me said. Legion, which means many. And the man named Jesus said, Come out! Come out! And, and, and something happened. I don't know what it was. I don't know why it was. But all of a sudden, I came to my senses. And all of a sudden, I, I, I found out that this man Jesus had healing. So now, now, I'm playing on the Jerusalem basketball team. Uh -huh. I, I got your money and a lot more. Uh -huh. Zacchaeus yeah. said, Jesus, huh? Jesus, huh? I got to find out about this man. Yeah. I heard that he was walking down the Jericho Road. Uh -huh. I got to run yeah. and find out who he was yeah. and who he is. Yeah. And I declare to you, church, yeah. it's all about finding out yeah. who he really is. Yeah. Really is. Yeah. If you want a change in your life, yeah. you need to find out yeah. who he is and what he can do for you. Yeah. Amen. And I declare to you what you find out you climb the highest mountain just to talk to him. Oh, I'm here to tell you, church. When I look back over my life, and I think about how he brought me over, my soul cried out.
my point is that through it all, I got closer to the cross. Through it all, I have learned to trust the God. And those who hurt me, yes, I can look at them and say, thank you. Because somebody wanted to put me in a box and leave me there. But I declare that God had something else to say. I ain't going to speak on that no more. Right. I'm going to leave that alone. It's Amen? Yeah. It's over. Yeah. It's over. Yeah. All I want to do is do what God has called me to do. And he's already allowed this man to let me do that. Yeah. And I said that to say this to somebody in here today. The past is the past. Move forward in Jesus' name. Think about what he brought you through. Think about some of the mean folk that he used to have. And then think about what he brought you. He gave you some new things. Yeah. 